Hello, hello everyone. This is Stevie O. Oh, we are back in the 50s. Hmm. Love this Chevrolet. This thing is a rock. We got a ton of motor oil. I probably have enough motor oil for like two years. Driving down. Ooh, who the heck is. Oh. Looks like the neighbors in the field over here. Man, I kind of digging that. That looks like one of them big deers. Them John Deers. Let's just say I'm pretty jealous of the neighbor. When he goes out there, he usually goes out about four to five tractors deep. He is a very big time farmer here in the 50s. I think he owns close to 200, but it's kind of a guess acres. I mean, uh, he's big timing. I couldn't do that all by myself. He definitely has a big crew running with him. Oh, I, I'm coming back, so I gotta drop off some of these barrels. I'm, so some of this motor oil right here is not mine. It's actually the big time farmer, our neighbor. Oh, I can't lift this stuff. I guess we're gonna have to take the farm all. We got her kind of dirty. Let me just tell you what. Power steering on these old monsters is a dream. Try to get that as level as possible. Yeah, scoot it right over. There we go. At least we're gonna use it to just prop it down on the ground, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Park this. So we actually got the old uh, 88 Oliver with, uh, took the side duels off of it, one of the side duels, and got it ready for plowing. So it is ready to go into the field right away. Uh, what else did we do? I don't. I think I may have called this a Massey one. It's definitely a Minneapolis Moline. So, uh, that is definitely a Minneapolis Moline. I, I'm pretty sure I called this a D when it's actually a B. So, uh, sorry about that. Oh, 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 all right. She started up. We are pretty close to actually planting, so all the snow melted off we are ready to get into the field it looks like old uh, Sam he's cultivating he's cultivating his weeds which I don't know how them weeds survive that snow that's kind of surprising but uh, as you can see I mean everything still remained green nothing really died off Let's actually drive on my side of the road here. Make sure he knows we're in the area. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> That'll get him to stop. Who are you? You the, you the new guy? Uh, yeah, I'm your neighbor right down the road there. Stevio's oh, really? name. Oh, nice to meet you, Stevio. I'm Sam. Yeah, yeah. Around the, the towns told me about you. You got one heck of a farm set up here. By the way, yeah, I did you a favor. I picked up your motor oil. Yeah, yeah thanks, man. Don't you have some some sort of tie up with the oil company here? Yeah, I got I got some deals. So you know, farming's tough. So sometimes you got to do some side jobs once in a while. Yeah, yeah, that's true kind of been blessed to be born in this bigger operation here. I remember when we were back using horses back in the day. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm really kind of nosy and I've seen your equipment. Can can you show me around because that jelly yes? Oh, yeah, I love you. Don't worry. If I can talk about my tractors about pe to people, I'd love to show them off, man. All right, yeah, this, actually this is kind of one of the newer tractors, not the newest, but this is our 80. Power, it's got power steering and everything. It's about a little used, but done, I only think it has like a thousand hours on it or so. Yeah, look at this big fatty on the back here. Man, that gets yeah, some traction. We need to get a plow for it, because what we're plowing with right now does it pretty good, but this thing would probably pull a little bit better. 
Yeah. Like, this is actually the newest tractor here on the farm. It's it's very very nice. It's a 730 here. It's amazing, wow. man. Wow. And you, what do you have here? A six row planter. Wow. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. yeah. You got the big stuff here. Ah, uh, we we kind of we upgraded from the four row. Yeah. What what did the heck did you do to your farm all over here? Man, this thing now this thing has. It's not very old either. Most of the tractors we have here actually aren't very old, but this thing has done probably the most work. It, it's gotten over rehauled twice now, actually. Really? For many years it hasn't. But here's look how big of a plow I'm able to pull with it. I know. It it, it looks like you put it down. Uh, looks like a four kit to the garbage disposal or something like that. It, it's got chips yeah. all over the place. Yeah, it, yeah. You got to stay away from the bushes and the trees. You got your your should be open open field. Farm. Uh, it looks like uh, it's a little muddy out there. You trying to plant? Uh, no? It's not that. No, just just in under the weeds. Yeah, all right. It looks a little dirty, but I'll take your word for it. Here's our two old. This is our two uh, newer drills here, actually. Wow, you got the you got the new drill. I got the wheel driven drills. Is this uh this gear driven? Not for sure. Yeah, of course it is. I don't wow. know of anything that's not really gear driven. Oh yep. What? Yep. This is definitely a little bit nicer. My McCormick drill, I got. Yeah, this is a McCormick drill. This is the newer one, probably. Big oh, this brother, is McCormick International. I didn't even realize that. Yep. Of course Dang. it is. This is a brand spanking new, huh? Need two of yes, them, huh? Are. For all your operation. Oh, yeah. How many oh, uh, oh, acres do you end up farming over here? Oh, I'm, I'm shy of like a 500 or so. What? Man. Jimmy Bob it's, said you only had 200. Now you got 500? That is... Well, te that technically, that's the home farm here. And then I've actually... It's in my uncle over there. I don't know, about two miles south. Yep. He's got some, and he's kind of taken out of it. And we take equipment down there and use it. But here's actually the brand, brand new disc. Hasn't even used yet. Wow. Another McCormick International, huh? You yes. got it on another. What is this? A 460? Yeah. This it, this thing, this thing actually replaced the uh, our older John Deere that we had with a loader on it. Do you know Billy Bob down down the street down there? He's about yeah. two miles down south. He has one of these things called a cab on this thing. Like a like a like in a pickup. A, yeah, like a pickup cab on a tractor. What in the world? Can you believe you that? About? No, I don't even. You don't got one of these, do you? Oh you, yeah, you I just picked up one of them the other day. It's supposed to need the ground nice and flat. They said it's planar. Better than a. Nah, if you get it nice and smooth. I, mean, I would always disc it, but we've used it a little bit. It's kind of we're kind of. They said that you can use them to replace a old furrow plow. I don't know about that yet. We'll see. Well, my daddy always said, make a good seed bed, makes a good ear of corn. Yeah, that's yep. true. Daddy said. I don't, I don't know what Daddy said, but okay. Hey, I don't hey. know if you can see. Are you making fun of my got. daddy? Nah, making nah, fun nah, of nah, nah. you want to fight? Nah. Hmm? Hmm? I, huh? Just joking. Yeah. Okay. What do you got over here? You got you got a dairy operation going, huh? Yeah, of course. Wow! Here's look at corn. Got a f nice. So you use this to. Both feed the cattle that's nice probably only have to back that in a couple times what she goes, a few times a month three four oh uh, no she goes a little bit more than that oh that's depends. good man also i'm surprised you don't season. have some hay up in the hay lofts up here no hay no actually the newer barn we have we just put it over there for this year it's kind of it's not it doesn't spoil as bad actually as you'd think it would so oh this what this was completely full actually Oh, you got one of these uh, farmalls, huh? Huh? Yeah. M? Yeah, I picked one up the other day. I got me a full front wheel cyst. Don't That's got everything option. on me. What? Yep. Man. Yep. I'm guarantee that I'm guarantee that 80 will pull out pull it though. So. You want to fight? Yeah. I mean, if do you, do they? I think that's a challenge. We should tractor pull what's that like hook them up oh like but 
You tractor mean like pull. put it on the sled like they do at the county fair? No, we pull them to get see which one will out pull the other one. I don't know where you're from. That's I've never done that here. That's pretty hard on the tractor. What you scared? Oh, no, no, no. I just don't like abusing my equipment. I like driving it through brush stuff, so you know. Hey, if you want to do it, if you don't, if you feel a little bit, you know, intimidated by my farm all, it's okay. Well, I mean, I'm not really intimidated because I'm. It's just a bigger farmer than a little farmer, so. Okay, okay. All right, Sam. Here it comes. Here it comes. Right. You out of the way. Get, get him out. Son of a gun. Hey, dude, just put some dirt on it. It'll feel all right. Be a man. What's the dirt gonna Rub do? it in some dirt. Rub it. You're weird, man. You can put that one in the barn, man. All right, lift man. With your, lift, with, lift with your back. All right, Sam. I got to go repair my uh, windmill, so uh, I'm going to take off. By the way, me and Jimmy Bob down the road, we got a competition. Who can raise the highest bushel per acre? You know I already got that. I've got the nice equipment. I don't know what you got. All right, it's a challenge. It's on, buddy. What kind of equipment do you got? You're going down. I got the tractors and the plows. Red, what? green, yellows. Yeah, that yellow. type. Yellow. Yellow. What do you mean yellow? Yellow. What? You have yellow tractors? Yep. You ever heard about a Minneapolis Moline? In this area, you don't really see any. Of the, I don't know what kind of stuff you're talking about. Make I mean, else you mean t you're, gonna t you're gonna tell me another thing. You're gonna have you have two kinds two kinds of green. Is it, that's not true, is it? Yep. What? What are these? I, I've only heard. Of you ever heard of a Oliver? They're gonna help me sow them seeds just perfectly in the ground. Yeah, but you don't. Got you're gonna to lose, what sucker. Kind of, what kind of? You're gonna okay. lose. Hey, can I come over for dinner tonight? My wife's not home. All right. Yep. I will tell Mandy. Right, Cook an extra good, plate. All right. Yeah, you better. All right, see you, man. Later. That's old Sam. Let's just say uh, he may be a little bit cocky, but uh, he is a very successful farmer. I really think he kind of, kind of blew his acres out of proportion. You know, every dude always adds a few to whatever you're asking. All right. So the neighbors always like. Why do you drive such a chipped up Dodge? I mean, the thing's only five years old. Yeah, like I said, I abuse it. I drive it through the brush. It's not old if it's not rusty. Metal like this would rust if it's like this. Yeah, yeah, I need to paint it. All right, now I gotta climb up here. If you could see, not for sure, thingabobber, thingy. Whatever that thing, about ready to impale a cow anytime. So, let's put this in gear to stop it and then hopefully fix this thing. Uh, this thing isn't stopping. I might have to wait for a day when it's not near as uh, windy out. Barely made that turn there. Oh, look at that. Sam showed up finally. What's up, Sam? Man, so, uh, yeah. I, I can smell the meatloaf from here. You want to head up there? Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in Marfville. Yeah. All right, one thing led to the other. Yep, yep. Can't let somebody bet you in your own house and not take the bet. So, here we go. All right, Sam, you ready? One, two, three. Oh! You broke the damn chain. Oh, man.